All right, welcome everybody. It's Doug here with the LincolnList.com. This is the week review for the 18th of May. Hope everything is going well for you this weekend. As always, if you need help with your trading, feel free to visit the LincolnList.com. Take the 14-day free trial to the live trade room. We'll pick up where we left off last week, talk a little bit about the market, what we might see. It just looks like right now, or the hunch, the gut, whatever you want to call it, just looks like the market's going to blast through all-time highs. We just put in some really impressive moves early in the week I imagine we're gonna start seeing two thirteens maybe even two fourteens before we can even discuss any kind of correction when we go back and we talk a couple of weeks for those that were looking for a market correction or saying hey is the market too high the technical levels you know a couple of weeks ago I was looking at under 204 and now you'd have to think maybe 207 206 is you might get some selling but still when we look at this it's just been continually grinding up you know, for the better part of the last couple of weeks. So until we see some sort of a trend break that holds, then then maybe. But until that point, I think we're going to see a really strong move early on in this week, and we'll see what happens. As always, anything can change. Who knows? So let's move into a couple of different stocks because, you know, stocks will independently move with regardless of what the market's doing. And this has created some really great-looking setups or some really nice stuff that we might want to consider. One has to be this Alder. We've got a lot, lot of nice stocks and some serious front side Momo moves. And I think if we get that blow off, let's say a blow off explosion out of the SPY or a really early rush on Monday, just to maybe just a touch of euphoria in there, we can see a lot of these stocks place in some short term blow off top moves. One of these might be Alder. Price wise, you you know, this thing's only had a couple of red days made from 22 to almost 40 now. Was a nice little flag, but one of the things I do like to look at is not just the RSI, which isn't really that high on a daily time frame, but anytime a stock price gets too stretched away from its 20 moving average, which is this green line down here, you know, at some point those two will connect with each other in the future. So two things will have to happen either the stock has to come back into that level or it will have to stop and rest and allow it to catch up so here in this case you're you're all well ten dollars above that moving average so this is kind of one of the ones I'm looking for early on now with these with all the stocks that I'm gonna mention one of the things if you're a day trader or the way that we're doing it or the way I'm talking about it is we're looking for only blow off moves or extreme euphoria moves early or in certain sections of the day because while these things are in their front side or the, the accumulation phase, Momo, whatever you want to call it, the dips are going to have a tendency to get bought. So if your game is to be a short seller, then you want to be able to hit it at the right point because maybe the first couple of pullbacks that you get, they're only going to be small. So you want to take advantage of that. You've got to be in at the right price. Otherwise, you're, you're always going to be chasing the price. Case in point here, you got a nice grind up. You finally get a little bit of red. So this is all that you're really getting. You know, maybe for the first couple of times before you can get the real flush in the stock. So you've got to be very, very patient and, and very precise. If you start chasing into a few of the reds, then you're going to have trouble. You're never going to get the right price, and it's just going to not be a good risk-to-reward trade. So you've got to wait for these things to make blow-off top moves or have euphoric moves where you can take advantage of them. A very good example of this, for those that don't understand quite what I'm talking about, it wasn't maybe the best scenario, is a C CMCM, something that like you're looking at right here, where you, you start to see the chart looks like a good flag. You know, all the real buyers are in here. That's the good spot to be in where the risk reward favors you coming out of the flag. Then you start to get this explosion. And then as the chart starts to separate from these moving averages, the candles get larger and larger. And at some point, you know, it can no longer handle that. You know, all the people that's been in this trade earlier are now exiting for profits. And then you've got the amateur chasers or those that are just be vulnerable, revenge trading, who knows. And as it runs right into the resistance on the daily chart, you get that perfect set up in a really, really nice, nice correction. And of course, the stock settles in and then it's a different story after that. So kind of keep that in mind. That's what we're looking at in this case with these stocks. Another one that has a, a pretty good look to it is this RVNC. You've had a couple of nice days out of this one. Uh, you got a little bit over that resistance, you know, for just a short period of time, and it closed right back at that. That goes all the way back to last summer. But you got another, another cu couple of nice day here, about a $6 move, not the hugest, but this thing, since really the earnings report has not broken until late in the day, 
right here on Friday. Did it ever really break any of the short-term moving averages over a couple days? You can see how strong this thing has been. So kind of want to look for this one maybe pulling a really strong move, maybe get a little bit up here towards the 28, 27. I don't know if 30 would be in the cards, but we'll keep this up here. It's not a bad look. Also, Alder, no, no, let's go back to, let's do Rare. I want to do Rare. This one's also pretty good here. You've got a nice high a day, not high a day break, but you got a nice daily chart break here, 70. Again, the same thing that we've seen here, price separation from the 20 moving average from 63 into the 79. It's pretty big. RSI is not huge, but we do have some significant price changes over the short term. So we'll be looking for a stock like this to make that gap and push high, maybe 81, 82 or something like that, and see if there's a possible short sell on that and another nice one has to be this rent this thing has been in a, a, a killer three-day run here 51 to 66 filling in this gap hits this resistance here or the pivot point that goes back into December so I think you're gonna start to see a little bit of exhaustion into these names I really like this one probably a lot more than I do the rest but you're gonna see a little bit of these I think if the market is really really strong early and you see that that's what I'm kind of really hoping that happens because it would put us in the best situation, or at least for what I do, is that if we get that really strong spy move early, market strong, everybody's like, oh, I got to chase all time highs. I'm going to miss out on a rally of, of, of the lifetime. Then I think these things will explode early, setting up for some great shorts. Now, after that, they settle in. We'll see what happens. Maybe they'll just come pull back in there flag a little bit and maybe they'll all grind back out to new highs or maybe we'll see a nice blow off move and a, a green to red who knows what you what you might see but I like those setups I think odds on starting the week that's what we might see maybe that doesn't happen but that's what I'm kind of thinking that we're gonna see anyway as always if you guys need some help with your trading as I mentioned at the beginning of the video feel free to visit the link list.com take a 14-day free trial it is not a chat room it's a complete educational learning environment where you see every trade made live in real time on screen just like you're seeing now being coached through it vocally it's not something where you just type in hey I'm in this stock it's completely different you get to see everything hands-on and learning in real time is the best way. So if you're kind of struggling there a little bit or you're looking to take your game to the next level, visit the thelinkandlist.com. Other than that, have a great week in trading. Talk to you soon.